The strongest fighter in the prison was provoked by a lame man cleaning the toilet. Everyone thought he was looking for death, except for him who was super confident. The moment he took off his clothes, the winner was already decided. <laughs> The man's name was Boyka. He was once a professional fighter, but he was tricked during the game and was framed for murder and imprisoned. Years of unbearable prison life brought his anger to its peak. Even though his knees were disabled, he never stopped training, and now he finally proved himself. The gears of fate also turned. The warden was optimistic about his strength. Under the operation of businessman Yuri, Boyka went to Georgia on behalf of the Russian prison to participate in a fighting competition and compete with tough men from the United States, Brazil, and North Korea for the only pardon slot. The competition attracts a large number of people to place bets, and the amount of bets may reach tens of millions of dollars. All agents want to take this opportunity to make a fortune, but in the face of huge interests, some people have been unable to bear it and secretly do evil. Under the arrangement of the bald warden, the fighter was forcibly taken to the quarry, enduring a high temperature of 40 degrees. They worked hard, but when they were sweating like rain, the warden's fighter Nick could lie down under the umbrella and read a book leisurely. When they returned to the prison exhausted, they could do a short training for the competition. Not only does Nick have a professional venue, he even has three sparring partners on call at any time. Three days later, the first game began. The Brazilian players were agile and overwhelmed with various moves. In contrast, the Greek players were slow in their movements and relied only on brute force to rush forward and strike. Not only did they not hit the opponent, but they exposed flaws and fell into passivity. With a combination of punches, the Greek player was completely unconscious. The next game was the American player Mike against the Croatian player. There was no doubt that Mike was stronger than the opponent in terms of strength and speed. He was both offensive and defensive and effortlessly ended the game with a heavy punch. Boyka, who was already hungry and thirsty, faced the powerful French hunk, who was the favorite before the game. Agent Yui was very nervous. Unexpectedly, as soon as the game started, Boyka's attack shocked the audience. Although his right leg was seriously injured, his sharpness could not be concealed at all. Faced with Boyka's smooth attack, the French player was obviously not well prepared. He was bleeding profusely in just a few rounds and was defeated. Boyka won an overwhelming victory and immediately became the most powerful person in the game. Nick, who was robbed of the limelight, made his final appearance. Although the North Korean player he played against had clever moves, he could not hurt Nick even a hair. The punch on Nick's body was neither painful nor itchy. When the atmosphere reached a high point, Nick suddenly started to fight back. The North Korean player was unable to parry and was instantly knocked down by a fatal tornado kick. Although the eliminated contestants were frustrated, at least they could go back alive. But something unexpected happens, and their ant-like lives have long been sold by the prison as commodities. Now that they have lost their value, they can only end up dead in the wilderness. On the other side, the quarry was filled with gunfire and the three who advanced had to continue working as coolies. Boyka was already angry, and Mike slapped his injured right leg and chattered in his ear. Unable to bear it, Boyka punched hard, and the conflict between the two finally broke out. Mike puts up a fight to save face, but soon discovers that Boyka's fighting ability is unfathomable, even when he uses all his strength. But he couldn't get the slightest advantage. If the prison guards hadn't stepped forward to intervene, Boyka would have beaten him into a pig's head. The warden was very happy to hear the news and quickly put the two into the solitary room. The dark, humid, and narrow environment caused Boyka's knee injury to recuperate, which cast a shadow on future games. Fortunately, their agent noticed something was wrong and secretly bribed the prison guard to meet the two of them. The money tree they bought at a huge price was actually forced to do hard labor every day. The mentality of Yuli and Fatty exploded instantly. They went to the warden angrily. Just when he was about to yell for an explanation, he never expected that the warden had already prepared for this. The businessman Laobai, who was colluding with him, tried his best to persuade them to cooperate and let the two of them use all their wealth to bet on Nick. The warden only needs to operate secretly and continue to torture Boyka and the other three. It is certain that Nick will win the championship. At this time, all four of them can make a lot of money without taking unknown risks. The greedy two will soon impressed by the huge profits, they immediately joined the warden's camp. The abandoned Boyka and Mike were engaged in increasingly heavy and hard work. They were even deprived of training time, but their daily meals due to huge physical exertion were only porridge and bread, the days passed, and the difficult situation did not improve. Boyka and Mike also realized that they had to rely on themselves if they wanted to survive, so they put aside their past differences and decided to work together to break out of the siege. Since there is no time for training, then use the quarry as a training ground. The two competed to do the hardest and most tiring work and exercised their physical fitness crazily to maintain a good competitive state. The relationship between the two gradually improved and they became good brothers sharing wheel and woe. 
However, the high-intensity labor made Boyka's knee aggravated again. Although he had been struggling to support it, Mike had already noticed it. He picked a medicinal herb and told Boyka to crush it and apply it on his knee. After several days of treatment, the knee pain has indeed improved. A few days later, the semifinals were held as scheduled. Boyka was generally looked down upon by the outside world because of his knee injury. At the beginning of the game, Boyka took the lead in launching an offensive. Although he made fierce moves, he was always easily resolved by the Brazilian player. The opponent was agile and difficult to hit. Boyka did not dare to slack off at all. Although his knee injury had just improved, he must work hard to find flaws and win quickly. Once he gets into a protracted battle with the opponent, it will be difficult to win in the current situation. After constant testing, he finally found an opportunity after continuously swinging his fists. The Brazilian player's body became sluggish after being hit hard on the head. He was quickly knocked down by Boyka. Facing the oppressive death entanglement, the Brazilian player could only clap his hands and choose to give up. Boyka showed great strength and successfully advanced to the finals without any danger. The Brazilian player, like everyone else, was brutally murdered by prison guards in the wilderness. The results of the game shocked the wardens. They did not expect that Boyka would not be affected at all in such a cruel environment. Mike, who is equally powerful as him, is likely to pose a threat to Nick, so the warden sneaks Mike into the cell and makes the guards beat him violently until he is bloody and faints. Seeing Mike's miserable condition, Boyka realized that the warden would not give up and must take action to prevent accidents. After careful consideration, a bold idea came to my mind. When he came to the quarry the next day, Boyka decided to help Mike escape from prison. After observing the environment of the quarry, we found that the prison guards here were severely understaffed, and only two of them had firearms. The prison guards never dreamed that the participating fighters would take the risk of escaping. After hearing this, Mike was very resistant. If he escaped from prison, he might be shot dead on the spot. If he lost the game, he would be sent back to the country at most. But the words of the old man who delivered the water immediately made his heart freeze. Fighters will disappear. No one gets out alive. Mike had no choice but to agree. Boyka raised the hammer and smashed the chain, but until the hammer handle broke into two pieces, the chain under his feet remained undamaged. When the prison guards realized something was wrong, they immediately blew the whistle and waved people away. Security guards swarmed in from all directions. Now that the matter had come to this, they had no choice but to give it a try. The security guards have an absolute advantage in terms of numbers, but their combat effectiveness is really vulnerable. Boyka succeeded quickly, snatched the key, and immediately unlocked Mike's chain. With the help of two prisoners, Mike can escape safely simply by hiding in the forest. But at this time, the prison guard with a gun arrived, and Mike instantly became a target. In desperation, Boyka grabbed a stone and hit it accurately, successfully helping Mike escape. When he came to his senses, he was stunned and confused when facing the prison guards. Boyka was already in prison when he woke up. Faced with threats from the warden and others, he asked to meet his agent Yuri, but he really didn't expect that. You just can't beat the Columbia. Not with your knee. You are with these animals. I'm with the money. Boyka, furious, accepted the suggestion. In the final, he vowed to kill Nick in the ring causing everyone's conspiracy to completely fail. Under the operation of Warden and Lao Bai, the popularity of the finals has never been higher, and the amount of betting is huge. In order to ensure nothing goes wrong, the Warden even got stimulants to take Nick's combat power to a new level. The unsuspecting Boyka was on full fire as soon as he came up, and the two sides launched a fierce attack. In order to win the game as soon as possible, the two used their special skills. But as the game became more intense, Nick, who was boosted by stimulants, had an obvious advantage. Boyka accidentally received a heavy punch, and the world was spinning. He quickly adjusted his state and continued to fight, but at this time he was no longer an opponent. Nick took advantage of him the moment he flew into the air. He firmly grasped his injured right leg. Having lost his right leg, Boyka's mobility dropped sharply, and he was helpless against Nick's onslaught. He suffered heavy injuries again. <laughs> Nick thought the game was over. Unexpectedly, Boyka used his tenacious will to hold up his body and attack again. However, he was powerless and became Nick's target. He want to give up, but when he saw the mop on the ground, those days of humiliation suddenly came back to him. He finally had a chance to regain his life, and he must not fall down so easily. He unwraps the mop, wraps it tightly around his injured knee, and returns to the ring before the referee completes the countdown, much to Nick's disbelief. The surrounding prisoners were also infected and began to spontaneously cheer for Boyka. With angry eyes mixed with murderous intent, Boyka began to fight back. Nick was shocked by the momentum and was pushed to the ground and beaten wildly before he could react. 
Caught off guard, Nick targeted Boyka's knee and tried to repeat the same trick. Unexpectedly, Boyka was already prepared, and fists as big as sandbags fell like raindrops. Nick was at the end of his strength under the heavy punch. Boyka showed no mercy and gathered all his strength to launch the strongest blow. <laughs> With Nick disabled and withdrawing from the competition, Boyka changed his destiny and won the championship, but this also meant that the Wardens and others would lose everything. Fatty was the first one to rush into the office unconvinced. Having lost all his money, he just wanted to kill someone to vent his anger. Laobai and his bodyguard who came later were also tragically killed by his gun. But the next second, <coughs> the Warden had the last laugh. Insidious and cunning, he did not release Boyka, but personally escorted him to the execution ground. Boyka knew he was going to die and had no choice but to accept it. However, a gunshot rang out, and the warden was shot in the head and died. Mike shows up just in time, saves Boyta, and takes him to the wild to meet a man. It turns out that Yui did not betray him. When he learned about the warden's trick, he only acted on the surface and asked Betty to put all his wealth on Boyka. Boyka did not let him down and won the championship. Let him have a lot of money, and Yui will be a kind and compassionate person. He was not stingy and gave away millions of dollars, hoping to recruit Boyka to discuss major issues. However, Boyka was tired of the disputes in the world. Now that he was free and had endless dollars to spend, why not get back on the road and pursue what he wanted? Life. Having made up her mind, she bid farewell to Mike and started a new life for him. Uh, yeah!